the modern man use a lot of engineering products now from the raw material to the products it involves various processes like uh, for example you take a small nut now from the starting material it undergoes various uh, changes or various process like cutting drilling etc etc so for each process you need something in order to affect the particular process now there are <coughs> certain materials which are hard in nature and they are called as abrasives you may ask what these abrasives are or what role they play <coughs> actually these materials are used for polishing grinding and shaping materials they are very hard in nature they are characterized by high melting point high hardness and they are chemically very inert they do not undergo any change easily <coughs> okay now first we will see the term what hardness means abrasives sh uh, should be very hard so that they can be used for cutting other materials the first property of abrasives is hardness what is hardness it is the property of the abrasive to grind or scratch away other materials okay and <coughs> this is measured in terms of mohr scale or uh, wicker scale now there are many um, abrasives and uh, they don't have the same abrasive power or they don't have the same hardness and the hardness are arranged like this the one having the least hardness is given the value 1 in mohr scale also known as mohr number mohr number now this uh, talc has got number 1 followed by gypsum having mohr number 2 third one is calcite having mohr number 3 next fluorite having mohr number 4 apatite values 5 whereas feldspar 6 and quartz 7 topaz has a value of hardness 8 and corundum has a value 9 and diamond has the highest value 10 of these uh, <coughs> abrasives those having values from 1 to 4 are known as soft abrasives and those having value more than 5 Five and above are called as hard abrasives. The second property of abrasives is toughness. Generally, these are hard and brittle. The these two properties put together is termed as toughness. More the toughness, better will be the capacity of an abrasive. Then the third property is abrasive power. What is abrasive power? It is the strength of the abrasive. to grind away another material as we know this is uh, these are used for <coughs> grinding other materials okay next we come to the characteristics of abrasives the general uh, generally they should be very hard second they should resist abrading action that is while they are used for cutting or grinding other purposes they should not undergo any change that's the meaning of this and third they should be chemically inert that is while uh, the process is taking place they themselves should not undergo any change chemically next high refractiveness we have already seen this uh, term refractiveness they should have, this should be quite high they should also have very high melting point because a lot of heat will be evolved during this process and they should not melt so they should have very high melting point and the last point they should remain unaffected by the frictional heat while cutting or grinding etc a lot of heat will be produced and due, due to that friction the uh, frictional heat these these should remain unaffected these are the general properties or characteristics that abrasives should possess abrasives are either man made or they occur in nature the naturally occurring abrasives are known as natural abrasives and this class of abrasives can be further classified into non siliceous and siliceous abrasives what are non siliceous abrasives these are abrasives which don't contain silicon example diamond 
Thymol is nothing but pure carbon, pure form of carbon. Emery, corundum, these are examples of non siliceous abrasives. <coughs> then coming to siliceous abrasives, the examples are garnets and quartz. The next class of abrasives are synthetic abrasives, these are man made. Example, carborundum and boron carbide. We will see now in detail about certain abrasives. First, we will see about the natural abrasives that is non siliceous. <coughs> Among them, the most important is diamond. In, uh, the diamond is the hardest substance known. Its hardness is, is measured as value 10 in Mohs scale. And uh, this substance is chemically inert, it is not affected by acids, alkalis or any other, um, I mean um, any chemicals. There are certain diamonds which do not have the sparkling color or they call them off color diamonds and these are known as bots. Black color diamonds are also there and these are known as carbonado. The main use of this uh, non siliceous uh, abrasive namely uh, diamond is, is used for as drill points and uh, for cutting rocks, stones and this is being used in grinding wheels. The next non siliceous abrasive is corundum. It is a um, opaque material. It is made up of pure crystalline alumina that is Al2O3. Its hardness is 9 in most scale. It is mainly used for grinding glasses, gems, lenses, metals, etc. The third non siliceous abrasive is emery. Actually, this is a black colored opaque material. It contains about uh, 55 to 75 percent alumina, 20 to 40 percent magnesite, and about 12 percent of other minerals. Sardness is about 8 in the most scale. The uses of uh, emery is it is used as the tip of cutting and drilling tools and also it is used in abrasive paper and cloth. There are two important siliceous abrasives. The first one is quartz. Quartz is nothing but pure crystalline silica SiO2. The hardness is 7 on more scale. It is mainly used for grinding pigments in paints. That is the coloring materials what we use in paint industry. For grinding we use quartz. And uh, they are also used as granules in grinding machines. The second important siliceous abrasive is garnets. It is nothing but a mixture of trisilicates of alumina, magnesia and ferrous oxide. Its hardness is from 6 to 7.5 on most scale. And is mainly used as uh, abrasive paper and uh, in abrasive cloth, glass grinding and uh, polishing metals. Among the synthetic abrasives, silicon carbide which is also known as carborundum SIC is, is quite important. You will see how this is manufactured. Silicon dioxide and coke, this is nothing but carbon, is taken in the ratio 60% and 40%. It is mixed with sawdust and salt and heated at a temperature of 1500 degrees centigrade in an electric furnace. Then reaction takes place between silicon dioxide and carbon and silicon carbide or carborundum is formed. Carbon monoxide is the byproduct. Now this sawdust um, gives out a lot of gases during the process which increases the porosity of the product. And the salt combines with the various impurities present in the raw material to form volatile chlorides. And after the preparation of the silicon carbide, it is mixed with bonding agents like clay, silicon nitride. It is then shaped, dried and fired. Coming to the properties of silicon carbide, it has got high thermal conductivity. It is mechanically very strong and it can be withstand loads up to 1650 degrees centigrade. The heat conductivity is in between that of ceramics and metals. Electrically, 
it is in between conductors and insulators. Now we will see the uses of silicon carbide. Coming to the use of silicon carbide, it is used as a heating element in furnaces as rods and bars. It is also used as partition walls in chamber kilns, coke ovens, muffle furnaces. Silicon carbide bonded with tar has got application as high conductivity crucibles. The next abrasive what you are going to say is norbide or boron carbide having the molecular formula B4C. It is manufactured as follows. Boron oxide is mixed with coke and heated at 2700 degrees centigrade when B4C that is boron carbide is formed. Coming to the properties, it is a very hard. Hardness is 9 in more scale. But it has got a very light weight. And it is black in color. It has got a very high resistance to chemicals. And uh, it resists oxidation better than that of diamond. So this is a very important uh, abrasive. Boron carbide finds use as a hard material for making grinding dies, cutting and sharpening hard high speed tools. The next use is, it is uh, used uh, for scratch and wear resistant coatings. The next abrasive what we are going to see is island dumb, which is also uh, as the molecular form of Al2O3. This can be manufactured as follows. Calcine bauxite is mixed with coke and iron and heated in an electric furnace at a temperature of 4000 degrees centigrade when we get corundum and this is artificially prepared. This artificially prepared corundum is more or less as the same properties of uh, naturally occurring uh, corundum and it finds use as uh, for grinding of hard steels. Coming to the applications of abrasives, abrasives are used in three forms. First, they are used as loose powder. They are used as loose powder to clean surface prior to coatings. Abrasive powders used are quartz and garnet. Second, they are used as abrasive cloth or paper. Now we will briefly see how this abrasive cloth or paper is being manufactured. Now the paper or the cloth is uh, made to pass through a series of rollers and during the process glue is sprayed on the surface so that a thin coating of glue gets attached to the paper or cloth. Next, the abrasive powder is made to um, fall on the glue and so what happens is that the glue uh, takes up the abrasive powder and a neat coating of the abrasive powder is found on the cloth. Next this is passed into a warm drying room where <coughs> it's dried and later on it is cut using a cutter and uh, we get the abrasive cloth or paper in the form of sheets according to our requirements. Now what are the uses of this abrasive paper or paper cloth? These are used to prepare smooth wood and metal and also plastic surfaces. This is the main purpose of abrasive cloth or abrasive paper. Coming to the third type of application of abrasives is they are used as grinding wheels. Grinding wheels are manufactured by mixing the abrasive grains with a binder. These are mixed together and molded into the desired shape, heated and cured. What are the uses of these grinding wheels? These are mainly used for the removal of scales from iron surfaces. Before an iron uh, surface being painted or subject to some other change, the 
surface scales that is unwanted material has to be removed and for this you use this uh, grinding wheels and for also sharpening of cutting tools.